Okay, ready? Go. Welcome to another video of Vincero Carpintero. This weekend's project is a DIY floating picture frame from my dad who got a painting from my niece all the way from Canada. So the project starts with these two pieces of scrap wood which came from my Lolo's house which adds to the sentimental value of the project. So what I'm doing here is I'm removing the nails and the trim that was attached to the pieces and then I planed it down to just take off the top layer and then I mounted the piece to a square piece of particle board, ran it through my table saw to take off one uneven edge to get a, a flat edge on one side. After that, I cut it to a shorter length and then I ran it through my thickness planer to take off the other layers and to get a nice flat even edge. So after you get a flat even edge, I can take it off of the particle board and run it through the planer as is. And then here I'm just taking the last side off to get what should be a, a nice square even piece. I make sure to cut four equal thickness pieces for the frame. Here I'm just cutting a 45 degree tip and then I, I measure how long I want the frame to be and I just cut them to length. Just make sure that whatever the size of your painting is, you want to add a half inch to the height and width of the painting to make room for that floating edge. So it's just a matter of simply gluing everything up, clamping it down, wipe off the glue. I used a damp rag to wipe off the glue. And then once it's dry, you just take off the clamps and now it's time to put in some dowels. My dowels were supposed to be 1 4th inch thick, but my dowels were half an inch thick. I had to figure out a way to make them smaller and this is how I did it. Then I put those dowels into the corners and then I uh, saw them off with my pull saw. After that, I made cuts to form the pieces where the painting will actually be attached to. I purposely cut two of the top pieces at a 45 degree angle just in case my dad wanted to hang the painting using a French cleat system. I just glued those pieces onto the frame, cleaned up any squeeze out with a wet rag and a razor. And then once that was dry, I thought I was done. But I felt like we needed a little bit more character on the frame itself. So I decided to route a, a small bevel on the edge. After that, we do some final sanding and it's ready for wax. Still my favorite part of any video is watching the finish be applied on the surface. I actually wanted to end the video on this shot, but I thought it was important to show how I actually mounted the painting to the frame. But I like the shot, this is a nice shot. So to mount the painting to the actual frame, I cut 1 4th inch spacers and simply screwed it from the back. And that's it, floating picture frame is done.